So I've decided that I'm going to be moving over to the Hampton side this week. Calmer waters over there. There's more to do, more job opportunities, grocery stores, restaurants, breweries, all within walking distance. Uh, cheaper dinghy dock, possibly. Laundry facility right there. Here we just got a road, an expressway, a bunch of houses. Got the Willoughby Fish House, which I don't like the owner. I think she's a full blown narcissist. Very condescending. And then we got 7 Eleven. And that's about it. The bus is here. Only run until 5 p.m. And they don't run it all on Sundays. Over on the other side, we got three different bus routes that run seven days a week until 11 p.m. So it just makes more sense for me. You miss my ex girlfriend, would she just chill out? But, uh, you know, I can't uh, make decisions for her. Anyways, gonna move over there and try and hook up with a fisherman or at least a fish processing facility, make some money. Uh, work on that shopping list to move down south Get down to South Carolina Charleston Make a pit stop there get some dental work done at the MUSC It's my favorite medical college that I've ever Been to before It's probably one of the better colleges in the country. They treat you really really good over there um, Just walking in the school it makes you feel good and overall, it's just a good experience. So I'm gonna get my uh, some dental work done there on the cheap. Meet up with some old contacts. Do some work. And then, at that point, I should be more than halfway ready to get down to the Keys. And I even got my mentor's blessing on that one. He thinks I can make a pretty good nest egg down there with uh, the cost of living I'm working with and the job opportunities down there. The job opportunities galore down there. Everyone has keys disease. Can't show up to work. Even uh, the judges. Well, this is just what I've been told. This, I'm not saying anyone in particular. I'm not saying that they that it actually happens, but I've been told judges show up to court drunk hi whatever um you know it's so it's so bad down there apparently um but yeah i want to get down there i want to take advantage of some of the opportunities got a long way to go shopping list consists of an eper bhf radio uh head cell repair new outboard engine running lights and there's probably a handful of other things like solar panels batteries and I think that's about it that's about all I really need I've basically given up on the diesel engine it needs a complete rebuild the rebuild kit costs five hundred dollars just in itself but uh, the real issue is with the timing it won't even start the timing so bad I've done a lot of research on that, and um, in order to get the timing fixed, it's going to take an enormous amount of awkward work. Um, yeah, it's going to be really awkward, and it's going to be very tedious. Um, if I could figure out a way where I could manage to do it, I'll do it. But if not, I'm just going to live without it, maybe find uh, another boat entirely, and go from there. But I plan on just using solar power to power my running lights. I also need an autopilot if I want to stroll at night. But, um, I mean, even then, I got to wake up every 20 minutes and check my my sails and whatever make sure there's no ships around
it's not recommended to go down to the East Coast being as new as I am to the drink or the sea. I know there's a 15 mile shoal or a shoal that goes out 15 miles from the Hatteras there. The waves get pretty rough. But after Hatteras, I think it'd be alright. I'm a little bit worried about uh, the big long stretch between Virginia and mid North Carolina because there's really no inlets to get into if shit does go big bad. It's pretty cold here now, I'm a little shivery. It's only gonna be a high of 60 today. Tomorrow's only gonna be a high of 62. Wind's blowing. Got the north wind in last night. Wednesday, the wind's gonna shift in my favor. Should blow me out of here nice and easy. I think that's the day I'm gonna go, maybe Thursday. I got some other things to do. I'm taking care of somebody's boat. And short power cord is supposed to arrive. I gotta hook that up for him because he's out of state. It'll be interesting. Sailor's life. 